Good to see you back, I'm sure with a growing appetite for wonderful classic films. And this film is wonderful because it is Australian and because it is a beautifully shot period piece with a large ensemble cast of great actors. It is Caddy from 1976. Australian films are wonderful. Despite working with small budgets, they often look great. They take you through a range of emotions from laughter to tears and back again. And they focus on little people, everyday people like you and me, and their very real struggles. Typically, these films have a heart, a soul, and most importantly, a great story to tell. This film was adapted from the 1953 book Caddy, Autobiography of a Sydney Barmaid. The fictionally embellished work of Catherine Caddy Edmonds, who worked as a barmaid in Sydney during the Great Depression. The book was published to glowing reviews and initially went through three reprints in England before being eventually published in Australia in 1966, six years after the author's death. The film adaption in 1976 led to a, res a resurgence in the book's popularity and bestseller status with seven reprints that year. The film was directed by Donald Crombie, who was also behind The Irishman, The Killing of Angel Street and Robbery Under Arms. And this was the first film produced by my good friend, Tony Buckley, who saw the book at a news agent in, a, in the Sydney suburb of Mossman. Buckley bought a copy, stayed up late to read it, and then contacted the publishers to acquire the, an option on the film rights. Tony was also involved with films like The Oyster Farmer, Bliss, Wake in Fright, and Age of Consent. He wanted this movie to have a similar look to Roman Polanski's Chinatown, and as I said, the look of this film is one of its major strengths. In addition to depth of character, Australian films also have great character depth. It is not unusual to find that you also care about the minor characters and the multiple different storylines almost as much as you do about the protagonist and the film's central narrative. Australian actor Jack Thompson had, during the mid-1970s, on the advice of his agent, concentrated on interesting supporting roles rather than central characters. For a short period, Thompson appeared in smaller notable parts, such as bookmaker Ted in this movie, as well as non-lead parts in Mad Dog Morgan and The Chain of Jimmy Blacksmith. Nice day, Caddy. That's not my name. No, but it suits you. Why is that? I've just bought a new car. Really? An eight-cylinder Cadillac. Well, you remind me of my car. Is that supposed to be a compliment? You've got a lot in common. You and my Cadillac, beauty and class. So I'm calling you Caddy. Caddy? Yeah, it suits you. Could I have a point, please? Caddy? <laughs> Many other Australian actors have made a career playing minor roles, uh, including in this film, actors Jackie Weaver, John Hewitt and Robin Nevin, who are a joy to watch in Caddy. They are actors you'll also frequently see pop up in many other Australian films which is a joy in itself. Publicity for this picture stated that it had one of the largest casts since the much earlier Australian movie, 40,000 Horsemen. Caddy featured 72 speaking parts and utilised 600 extras. Caddy, the title role, is clearly a pivotal character and Helen Morse, a NIDA graduate with a great deal of stage experience, is excellent in the role. In preparation for the film, she visited some of the locations in Sydney where the real Caddy had lived and worked. And prior to being cast, Helen, who had never worked in a pub, took a job as a waitress at a hotel in the Sydney suburb of The Rocks, where she worked for three weeks in preparation. Filming took place in August and September of 1975, with the shoot taking six weeks. It was shot on about 40 different locations, with interiors filmed at the old Cinesound Studios at Roselle in Sydney's Inner West. Authenticity is another hallmark of this film. The filmmakers went to the trouble of studying early Australian films, such as the working class drama Sunshine Sally from 1922, during the pre-production period. It is also a timely film. It was made and released uh, during the International Women's Year of 1975, and having a female lead and central character helped it to attract funding from the Australian National Advisory Committee for the International Women's Year. The movie opened the 1976 San Francisco Film Festival, the first time this had happened with a film that was not provided by a major American distributor. It won all four Australian Film Institute, or AFI, awards for which it was nominated namely Best Actor in a Supporting Role for Drew Forsyth, Best Actress in a Lead Role for Helen Morse, and a tie for Best Actress in a Supporting Role for Melissa Jaffa and Jackie Weaver. This film won the Best Actress Award for Helen Morse and the Special Jury Prize for Director Donald Crumby at the 1976 San Sebastian International Film Festival. 
It was a success at the Australian box office on its release and is considered one of the key films of the Australian cinema's new wave. So a lot of good reasons to watch this film. Its story and its setting, set during the Great Depression, a time of great hardship, especially so for women, and having women as the central characters uh, is really, really important and very compelling. Uh, the look of the film is also really important. It looks very authentic. It's also beautifully shot. So it's, it's a wonderful experience just to watch the film uh, for the look of it. Uh, the performance is really critical as well. Helen Morse is excellent in the lead role of Caddy, but equally ably backed up by Jack Thompson, who's a wonderful actor in his own right, but also Jackie Weaver, who has certainly come onto the international scene in more recent years as well. And it has so many of those elements that make Australian films so good. Uh, you know, looking at the little pe people, looking at their very compelling stories as well. I think it's a wonderful film. I think you will as well. Uh, I hope you watch Caddy. So. As, as we always say, go to our website, uh, look for our virtual screenings page, find the link to Caddy, watch the film, see what you think, and as always, we'd love you to come back and let, you know, let us all know what you thought about the film and whether you'd recommend it for others. And then we'll be back in the not too distant future with another classic films to review. Hope to see you next time.